This is my Lovo review. Lovo is a text-to-speech software that claims to be the most human-sounding, authentic, synthetic speech platform in the world. That's what the founder wrote on the AppSumo website. I'm just not sure how authentic and synthetic go together. But that aside, that is a big claim. So in this video, I'm going to put the software to the test. We'll take a look at the website to see exactly what the offer is and if it can be trusted. Then we'll dive into the tool. I'll give you a quick demo so you can see exactly how this software works. You'll find links and timestamps in the description below this video in case you need a reminder. Okay, let's do this. Let's try Gary here. I'm not sure what to say. Okay, so here we are at the Lovo website. Now the website is nice and clean. It's modern. It looks good and it certainly looks trustworthy. They have a live chat, which is always something that I look for. Now, this is a good sign. 30,000 plus creators in 41 countries, millions of voiceovers created. That's something that's always good to see. It means that the software has some mileage. It hasn't just launched and hopefully it's not still in beta. Now, here we see the sales pitch, really. Super realistic human voices powered by advanced text-to-speech technology. Okay, and I can see things like truly human emotions in every voice created, mind-blowing voice cloning technology. They're really amping the software up with terms like mind-blowing and truly human emotions in every voice, breathing life into your content. Now, I'm not dissing this. I really hope this lives up to its claims because I have various books. I write fiction and non-fiction and I would love my books to be audiobooks. So I have actually been looking at text-to-speech voice technology for quite some time now. I've just never mentioned it because there was never anything worth mentioning. But I came across this recently and as you can see, this looks promising. But yeah, so overall, the website gets an okay. It's trustworthy. It's a little bit hypey. It has to be said, if I was making these claims, I would have a video at the very top of the page showing the software show rather than tell. But anyway, let's dive in and test the tool. So here I am inside Lovo Studio. Now I have to say I haven't actually tested this yet, so I have no idea what this is going to sound like. But judging by the website, it's going to sound just like a human. So let's start by adding some text. Hello, my name is Hoss. And now let's press play. Hello, my name is Haas. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah, we need to change the voice actor. Okay, so looking around, I see some symbols here on the right hand side. Voice skin. Okay, so it's pretty intuitive. I like the fact that the interface is nice and clean and it didn't take long to work out what to do. So, okay, let's scroll down this page so we should have 180 plus voices if i remember correctly so let's go to sort by okay i can sort by favorite let's go to filter this is good you get scenarios here so presumably there's going to be a different intonation for each scenario so i'm going to go with audiobooks age i'm going to go to middle-aged i quite like this and i haven't seen this before you can choose a child voice a young adult a senior a middle-aged so for example if you've written a children's book when your characters speak you could choose a child voice that would be a nice touch gender let's go with male accent british and wow the voice skins have disappeared they have no male british voice actors I'm not sure what to say. Okay, well, let's take off British then. And I'll choose American because my books are written in English. Okay, so let's go to levels. You have premium and regular. Well, I'm going to go to premium. Text edit. I'm not sure what that is. And character. Ooh, angry, classy, dramatic, excited. This is really good. This is a really nice touch. So you can actually choose the emotion behind the voice. This is brilliant. Well, I'm going to go for gentle. Oh my God, they've all disappeared again. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's coming in future. Who knows? Let's untick that. Let's go to friendly. Okay, so there are no friendly American middle-aged voices in the software so far. I would imagine that that's going to be a pretty common choice for someone wanting a voiceover for a video, a sales video, for example. Okay, so let's go to hard sell. No. Let's go to honest. No. <laughs> my God. Informative. Wow. Ominous, no. Sad, no. Warm, 
My God, we have one person with a warm voice. What happens if we select trustworthy and powerful? Okay, so we got two choices here. And both of these voice actors have audiobooks in their tags, which is what we're looking for. So on the filter side, we are a bit limited. I hope that they keep adding talent because so far it's quite limiting. I mean, come on. Okay, so let's select Cody and let's go to workspace and press play. Hello, my name is Hans. Wow, I have to say that voice doesn't match that face. Let's go back to the voice skins and this time I'm going to select Chad. Okay, let's press play. Hello, my name is Hoz. That sounds robotic. Let's do it again. Hello, my name is Hoz. Let me put a comma there and try again. Hello, my name is Hoz. Let's put a exclamation mark there. Hello, my name is Hoz. Well, the exclamation mark made no difference whatsoever, but the comma did. Now, I'm not happy with these voice skins, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to take off the character filters, which is a shame because I really wanted to be able to choose by character. So let's try Richard. They say the universe is expanding forever eternal at a speed that is unimaginable or unfathomable to the humankind. To the humankind. Well, that voice didn't sound too bad, but the words did. The humankind. Who wrote that? Okay, so let's see Chad and Cody and Richard. That's all we have under American male middle-aged. Only three. Okay, I think the problem is that I've got audiobook selected because I really want an audiobook. And that's obviously filtering out a lot of the voice talent and it's limiting my choices. However, their website does say audiobooks. The perfect voiceovers for audiobooks. So if you're going to push that at the very top of your website, then have audiobook voice talent. So let's go back here and untick audiobooks. This is going to give us a lot more choice, but I'm disappointed. Now let's try Ian and click on play. Hello, my name is Haas. Wow, talk about gravelly. Let's go back to skins. Let's try Austin and play. Hello, my name is Haas. They all sound really gravelly and I selected middle-aged. Let's go back to voice skin and the last option is Tim. Let's go for Tim. Play. Hello, my name is Haas. Well, Tim sounds more normal than everybody else, but he sounds uber happy and that's just not going to cut it from my horror stories. However, let's put Tim to the test, shall we? I want to grab a snippet from my book and actually let Tim read it. Okay, so I've typed a paragraph from my book. I'm going to Press on play and let's see how Tim reads this. The things I learned from that almighty fall are not things I ever read in a book. Every so often, I read or hear one of those harder nuggets of wisdom, but they are often delivered as an afterthought or a parting comment. Too easy to miss. Yeah, that needs some serious work. I'm going to give this one last chance. I'm going to remove middle-aged and see what comes up. Let's try Gary here. Think I learned from that almighty fall are not things I ever read in a book. Every so often I read or hear one of those hard-earned nuggets of wisdom, but they're often delivered as an afterthought or a parting comment. Too easy to miss. I'm sorry, if a voice over talent came over to your studio and started reading like that, what, what would you do? I have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh sexy how are you today he's not even saying hello he's saying ho come on let's try hi hi sexy how are you today <laughs> well that's the most realistic voice so far unfortunately it only fits the profile of a creep i have a few more voices here and just to give this a fur go so no one can say that i didn't actually try let me click one or two more. Hi, sexy. How are you today? I'm sorry. I need to remove that, <laughs> that text. The things I learned from that almighty fall are not things I ever read in a book. Mikai, however you say that. Let's try this one. Every so often, I read or hear one of those harder nuggets of wisdom. Unfortunately, Lovo AI does not live up to the hype, the super hype, the mind-blowing hype. I'm using their own words here on the homepage, on the landing page. I'm really disappointed because I really wanted this to be good because I need a text-to-speech software tool. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe I was too harsh, but the software certainly isn't for me. Do contact them if you are interested because these companies do tend to have a roadmap and hopefully they'll improve. Tune in for more tool reviews, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.